So I've got a Vortec engine built from 96 to 2002. And the small block Chevy original early model dipstick and tube bolt onto the crankcase and it's very short. It's like 23 inches. The problem with it is, as you can see, it's right here. The problem with it is the oil level starts about right here and it's full of oil. So it's got five quarts in it, uh, one, uh, almost one in the filter. So the oil level actually barely shows right here at the end of this. But this has the mount that works right there. And when I tried to get a truck um, tube, I did in fact get a truck tube and the bracket doesn't fit. The truck tube is like 30 inches long. And what I've done here is take the uh, oil measuring part and drill the pin out of it so that I can cut this down to where it'll work in this. So it just needs to be about that much longer to where the oil top is it needs to be that much longer so it will show oil and then I can use this measuring part of it inside this tube right here but why am I having to do that I've talked to everybody I know and they say well it just takes a regular small block Chevy dipstick no it doesn't the and then they're thinking well what size oil pan you got well I got a regular oil pan I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it's a regular oil pan. It's not extra deep. It's not performance oriented or anything like that. The people that sell the truck oil dipstick say that basically their bracket, which is like 17 inches higher and is about eight inches long, six inches long, is uh gonna fit uh the block it's gonna mount into the block well i don't see how because if even you come up with that short dipstick out of that hole right there you've got seven inches to the hole uh to mount on the block or maybe they're talking about you're gonna mount it to the header of the <laughs> or the valve cover because, yeah, it's not going to mount to the block, not if it's 17 inches higher. So, I don't get it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm just not understanding why I have to buy a dipstick and then make it work. And then uh, get, get this one from a friend of mine who says it would work and it didn't. And then have to uh, spend time and uh, effort into making something work when they made a million of these engines. It's baffling. But uh, here I am, classic restoration 101, make it work.